Right, today we're going to mosaic this beautiful coru. I'm going to do this in a mix of stained glass in peacock and jade swirl and a little bit of pink. So I've sealed my board with a mix of PVA and water. This is the glass that I'm going to be using. So I've got peacock stained glass or I have a jade swirl. But first of all we're going to glass that a little bit so we can just get it to a workable size. Gonna start with our end point. So the black marker, I'm just gonna draw a line. Okay, oil filled cutter. It's our first score. I've got running plies, which are going to help to snap my glass. And one sway. I do have a handy little file, which I'm just going to take off that very, very sharp edge. It just makes it not so sharp to touch. And everything else is a nice, clean cut. So we'll get that. So now we're going to add a bit more stained glass colour. I'm thinking the peacock will be quite nice. So I'm just going to get this down to a workable size. Alright, I'm going to pop that under here. Same thing again. So it's just about putting pieces of the glass all over it, filling in the gaps with um, a colour of your choice, which mine will be like a nice pink. So I've got a perfect shape there. So just cutting on the inside of that black line. Let me bring you down a bit closer. little bit of our shimmer in there. This is a rose gold tin mill tile that we've got here but I think that's just quite nice just popped in there. So same thing again I want to trim that edge there. So it's a little bit off the end and then I'll just fill it with the pink. But I'm actually going to start to glue this because I'm sort of moving around all over the place. So I'm using well bond glue today. Right, let's start with our point. Just make sure it's all in place. And this one here, this peacock glass is actually stunning.
Right, so I'm just going to show you how I've cut these little petals out of stained glass. So we've used white stained glass. This is a little Jade Smarty, 12mm. And then I've got some blue mirror triangles which I've used. So we'll show you how we've done the petals, which we'll see how we've done them to create that shape as well. I've got a white bit of stained glass here, so I'm just going to cut this in half so I can make it a little bit smaller to do our smaller petals. So these are running pliers, which helps to snap the glass. So when you're cutting stained glass, try and leave a finger space between you cut it and the end of the glass. If you try and cut too close to the end, it's really hard to snap your glass, as the pliers have a curved jaw, so you need to have a bit of pressure either side. Basically, when you put them in, enough each side for it to snap down. Right, petals, finger space. So I'm just going up to the top, try not to drop off at the end because you'll blunt your wheel. And I'm giving it a point at the bottom here, so I'm going to go back around this way and I'm going to meet up the point up there. It might be helpful to draw it on with a texture if you need to. When you go to snap them, you pop your running pliers in the way you've started off your score. So I'm not going to put them straight because I've actually started off coming in on an angle and that will give you a nice snap and then back that way. And that's our first petal, so we'll do another quick one. Finger space. So when you're cutting your glass, it just takes a little bit of practice. Try and keep your pressure even. Um, and I'd probably suggest practicing if you haven't cut glass before on a bit of uh, scrap glass. Preferably um, picture framing glass is always good to practice on. And that's our petal. Um, we will do some smaller petals a bit later, further around, so I'll show you how we're going to do those. We'll just cut them in half, and I'm just going to soften those points off. And I'm using my cutter like a grinder, so I'm just nibbling away ever so slightly. So we're going to do this sort of flower as we go further around on our design. And by cutting the little points off, you'll be able to get a centre in. So that will be basically the start of our flower, which we're going to put here. I think we'll do some pink ones. Got some beautiful blue mirror tiles. I'm just going to cut into smaller pieces, which I'm going to put right here. Got our little flowers we're going to do. Okay, it's something from the motherland. I've got some beautiful power. This is gorgeous, nice and um, polished. So I'm just going to lay them down, kind of layering them on top of each other. 
So just pick out the ones that are really significant to my colours and my project. put our beautiful lotus lily here and I've used the rose mirror, rose gold mirror diamonds and I'm going to fill the background in with the white like we've done with the um, background of our pink flowers. So it's going to be white iridized, same thing again, we're just cutting the shapes to fit in there. Okay, we're going to start with this little bit here, so we're going to find a nice piece of glass there. I'm going to probably rush and cut a little bit to go sort of here. So I'm going to try and find something that's got a really nice texture through it. So there's this little bit here that I really seem to like, <laughs> so I'm going to pop that under there. Roughly guesstimate where it goes without wasting a lot of glass. I'm just going to bring that over a wee bit. 